Hey everyone, welcome to the Heat Team Call. We are so excited tonight. And for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Sandy Abrams Tabola, one of the Heat NMDs. Just love this team. And I'm a mom of three uh, and a grandma of more than that. <laughs> and I just love the freedom and the health that this company, that Juice Plus, offers. I'm so deeply in love with our mission, with our company, with, um, with Juice Plus, and with our future. The future could not be brighter. So if you're new, just hang on. You're on for a great journey. And one of the things I love the most is the relationships and getting to know each of you. And um, that is where, I, in, in this company, is where I met Jake. And I just fell in love with her, with her energy, with her sense of humor, her just zest for life. And so I'm so excited that she's on, and I want to give her as much time as we can. And so um, really quickly, she is a 29-year-old, 39 club, national marketing director from Santa Barbara, Formerly a D1 athlete turned urban farmer and lifestyle specialist. Now, urban farmer, she actually ran for a few years, um, I think, right, Jake? Uh, the um, farm, Chapala Gardens, that her mom and dad owned. And now she is, her, her claim to fame lately, besides getting married to this darling guy, which I'm sure she'll tell us about, um, is that she is the founder, the creator of the Shred 10 and building huge momentum with that. And that is her topic for tonight. She is deeply committed to helping her family and friends get healthy and create the lives of their dreams. So, Jake, I'm going to let you take it away and share your amazing story and how you're building momentum. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. My face is right giant in front of me. i got to change yeah, that. <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, I'm so uh, excited to be here with you guys. Um, I have known uh, Chris and Nick since I was tiny, a tiny person, and they're kind of like a, almost like a second set of parents for me, so it's so fun to be able to be on here. Uh, with with your guys' team. Um, so I'm, I'll just share my story real quickly. And then, you know, uh, Chris and Nikki and Sandy, if you if, if I'm if I, you want to jump in and like ask me questions or want me to get on a different avenue, feel free, then, then interrupt me. I don't care. <laughs> um, so I, I've been using Juice Plus for 22 years. My, my mom has been a rep with them for 21. And I, you know, I was a super active kid. My mom was super health conscious. So Juice Plus just totally made sense to her. Um, and you know, I played tons of sports growing up. I played four sports in high school and then went on to play two sports at the division one level in college. And, you know, all through my, my, you know, athletic life and, you know, kind of growing up, you know, people always say, how do you know what juice plus has done for you? Because you never experienced life without juice plus really. If you don't have a before and after story, because when you're seven, you don't know, you don't really know what's going on <laughs> with, with your health or whatever. And so that was really true. I didn't, I was like, I don't know, my parents, my mom makes me take it. I don't know. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I wasn't really clear on what juice plus had done for me until I got to college. And it was the end of my freshman year. I had been playing basketball. And um, at the end of the year, every single one of my teammates had been sick or injured at some point during the season that had missed games or missed practices. And I hadn't experienced any of that. I didn't miss any games or any practices. And so I, as a freshman at a D1 school, was able to play the most minutes on our team. I started in every game because I was performing optimally. I wasn't getting injured. I wasn't getting sick. And, and I was, you know, recovering really, really fast and, and, you know, able to kind of stay in the game. And, you know, we hear that story with so many athletes that they miss their big competitions. So there's so many top athletes we don't even know about because they don't make it because of injury um, and illness. And, you know, we've got, you know, I, I love this story. Um, a friend of mine, Ariana Cookers, maybe some of you know her. She's a, a she was an Olympic swimmer, and she her first um, her first time of qualifying for the Olympics didn't make it because she got sick. And like that's just we hear we see that all the time. And um, so that was really eye opening for me. And I realized that over my entire career, I never missed a game or even a practice due to illness or injury. And that was just absolutely huge. And so I was like, okay, this is cool. I want to do this. This is awesome. But I 
I didn't get how I was going to talk to 20 year olds about fruits and vegetables in a capsule and prevention and research. Cause they're like, I'm going to buy beer <laughs> instead. <laughs> so it's the, it, I, I had to figure out how to wrap my brain around how I was going to do this. And so I got really excited about the tower gardens and I started, I ran my parents tower garden farm to Paul gardens for, for two years. They have 40 tower gardens on the roof of their property down in Santa Barbara. And so I did that and that was really awesome. And then when Dr. Major Ray came out with transform 30, I was like, okay, this I can do this, this, my, my age group it wants. That's why there are, you know, boot camp classes or, you know, all kinds of different programs because people, they need guidance. They don't know necessarily what to do. There's so much information out there and they need guidance. So like, I just want to show up and have someone tell me what to do. And so that's, um, you know, really what this program can do for people. And so we, we worked with the transform 30 program for a couple of years. Um, and it was, it was great. I really, I had great results with it. Um, my, personally, and also with my team. And then last, just over a year ago, um, you know, we, I had a really <laughs> a bad Christmas and <laughs> bad holiday season eating and drinking and, and just needed to totally do a reset. So I just took Mitra's rules to the extreme and I was like, I'm just going to do all this stuff for 10 days. And like to do everything that she said, like do less of, I did none of, and you know, kind of just went with all of it. Um, and I did it by myself. I didn't tell any of my team about it. I didn't tell anyone, just did it with my mom and my mom and I did it. And, um, I was really blown away by what I was, what I experienced from it because, you know, I've been using juice plus my whole life. I've been, you know, having at least one shake a day for my entire life, pretty much using, using juice plus. I was super active eating super clean. I was, I think I was a, I was close, pretty close to a vegan. And so I was eating almost all plants and the level of, of, um, recovery that I was seeing the quick, like, like my recovery went way down. My performance went way up. I was jumping higher. My energy was way up. Um, and so I'm able to like make gains as a 29 year old that like that above what I was doing when I was 18, which is huge. Like that's the whole, that's the whole, that's the whole point <laughs> is to be able to continue to perform optimally, no matter what level you're performing, whether it's, you're just an average exerciser or someone trying to get active or you're an elite athlete who's trying to like continue to perform at the level that they used to as they, as they age. And so, you know, I'm, I, as a 29 year old, I'm considered like an, an old athlete. <laughs> and so to be able to still be jumping higher, running faster, performing better is just, is just huge. And that's really what the, what shred 10 does is it helps your body to perform optimally. Um, and so it, it's kind of just took like wildfire, uh, after I did it my first time and I had my, I got my team and some customers doing it and it just sort of exploded. And, and it's, um, it's been huge for my, for my business because, um, with it's the customer retention has gone way up. Um, because you have to do such good customer care when you're, when you have someone who's doing the shred 10, because it's only 10 days. And for a lot of people, all those changes, it's a lot. And so they're not going to comply fully unless you're in their ear <laughs> all the time. And so what I said, what I did is I just, I knew that I needed to be in touch with my customers more often. So I was talking to them two or three times a day for the first five days. And then once or twice a day for the second five days on their first shred, once they're like, when they're brand new to the shred. And that was amazing. I was getting almost hundred percent compliance with people and people, everyone was, was staying on not only juice plus, but staying on the shred. Um, they would get done with their, with day 10. They're like, Oh my gosh, this feels so too good to stop. And so they would shred as long as they can't, they could. And then always knowing that they had this program to, to come back to, um, to kind of reset themselves. So it was awesome for my customers. I saw really pretty amazing things. You know, people, you know, get off, you know, manage illnesses better. Be some, I had a couple of girls be able to get pregnant who couldn't for a long time. I had people's skin issues heal up that had been bothering them for years. Just like all these, this whole host of health, health related things that were they were getting, you know, managed because their body was performing optimally. Um, so it, it, of course, like weight loss and like looking better is like a nice side effect that like, but I consider that like secondary to what actually is going on for people with the shred. And that's how, that's how we can, we get people to really see that this is a long-term thing. Cause if someone is doing a program to lose weight, once they've lost the weight, they're like, I don't need this program anymore because now I'm, now I've done it. Whereas with, when we get, when we get them to feel as good as they but I was losing customers as fast as I was getting them because I wasn't doing good customer care because I just, that didn't click to me <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, and then in terms of like of growth on my team, so my entire team does Shred 10. I don't, I, everyone does. I don't have anyone, anyone that's really actively working that doesn't use Shred 10. Uh, we put, we put almost every customer on that program. 
Um, and what's happened for, for our business, for our team is that, uh, when we first came out with it, uh, I had a girl go from, she was an, an, an SSC doing like 10,000 in volume to the next month hitting Q at 23,000. Just when we, just by introducing the shred to her community and her customers and, and that, and then one of her downline went SC to SSC again from one month to the next doing like 3000 SC to like over 12,000 SSC in just that, that one month span because, and, and all they did was talk about their excitement around it. All they did was like, Oh my gosh, this program is awesome. I'm starting another one who wants to do it with me. And people were like, yes, get, cause that, that is how powerful a program is. That is how much people want programs that once we introduced something that was like 10 days, so, so doable to one weekend that, you know, they were able to kind of, kind of run with it. Um, I did, I just promoted my, uh, a queue this past month. And again, you know, most of it is, is shred 10, shred 10 stuff. So, um, it's, it's been, it's been an awesome program for, for business building. And I know that it's, it's kind of taken off within the company as well. And now we have these awesome resources that make it even easier for you. So, um, we have the shred 10 system guide, which is like, you don't have to know anything. <laughs> you can be a brand new rep with no training at all and not know a single thing. And it'll take you through like, you know, okay, you have someone who you think would like to do the shred. So what do you do? Here's all the message you can send them to get the, to like talk to them a little bit about the shred. And then if they say, if they say this, here's what you can send. And then, so what it like walks you through every little teeny tiny step of getting someone started as a customer. Um, what to, what to say for customer care. So like if you're, if you're texting them three times a day, like what am I saying to not be just saying the same thing over and over again, you know, videos to send, like what to be saying on each day, each time you're talking to them. Um, how to, how to transition, transition them into the maintenance part after they're done with their shred tent. Like it gives you everything. Um, it talks about, it lays out how to run a shred 10 group. Cause this is this, the customer care is the number one important thing. The second thing is these, these customer care shred, uh, Facebook groups. And, um, it talks, it walks you through how to run one. Like here's, you know, here's what to post on which day, here's what to say, here's videos to, to be posting. Here's some graphics to use. It gives you everything. Um, and what's important about the, the groups is that the people, these people feel like they're part of a community. So it keeps them engaged and it holds them accountable more than just like, you know, them doing it by themselves or with you. Um, and that's been, been really, really, really huge is having that, that community feel for the, for people. Um, and I've been getting this question asked a lot um, about how I run my Facebook groups. And so I'm just going to lay it out here for you guys real quick. So I, um, I have a, I have a one group that's my main customer group that every customer that's whether tower garden, shred 10 juice plus complete, whatever children's health study, they all go into that group and there's tons of resources under the files tab there. I welcome every customer when they come in and, and, and then I have a separate group that's just for shredders. It's every one of my shred, um, customers and you can only get added into that if you're doing a shred. So I welcome them into my main page and say, you know, Welcome, you know, Chris and Nikki to the Juice Plus family. They're starting with the shred once they get, once their products come. And so people that are in that group who aren't shredding are like, well, what's a shred? I want a shred. And so they get, you get this builds curiosity with the rest of your customers and maybe a tower garden customer decides to become a shred customer because they're seeing this, the kind of excitement around it. So that's, that's that group. Then I have this main shred group that's got, and we originally, like we started the shred group and we had like 50 people in it. And so we were just running our shreds in that group, but now it's too big. Now there's too many people in there and people are shredding at different times and posts get lost and it's too crazy. So we have a, this, we have this kind of massive group where it's got all this, all the resources and all the guides and everything in there for them. And then each month we run one or two shreds and we create a Facebook event for that. So it runs for, for the 10 days and you make a post in the main group and it's like, we have a shred starting who wants to be added into it. Every, all the reps add their customers and themselves into that event. And then it runs and, and we have, we, we have people on our team, uh, volunteer to run, to run each shred group and you need two reps to run it. And one of them posts in the morning and one of them posts in the afternoon and they can, you can either like make up your own posts if you want, you can use the, the shred 10 system guide to, to, for help if you want. Um, and, uh, and so they run it for those 10 days. And then once the 10 days are over, the event closes. And so the group closes, which is awesome. So you don't have to like have all these like random groups that are open with people in them, like <laughs> randomly posting stuff that people get notifications for like two months later. <laughs> so, um, that's worked really well, um, for us. 
Uh, and when you, if, it's good to have a few different reps in that group to like d get the people engaged in posting because that's how it's, how it's effective. If no one's posting and it's just kind of a dead group, it's not in exciting. So people are posting what they're eating, recipes, what their workouts are, um, all kinds of stuff like that. And reps help to do that. If you're, if you're an SC and you, or you don't have a lot of team that are active and you want to run your own trend group, get a sideline buddy. That's what we did initially. We sidelined up with someone else on shining star and created this group together and then once we got big enough and she got big enough then we kind of separated off and had our own so um if you want to run your own you know and your, your team doesn't have a group maybe your team's not doing shred 10 yet and you want to have a, a, a facebook group then you can you know grab a grab a sideline buddy and run it run one together and that's really fun Dave, can yeah. i ask a question so yes, please. when you do your shred for those 10 days What's happening on the Shred 10 Facebook normal group? Is anybody continuing to post things occasionally or doing those 10 days? It's really just focusing on the event of who's ever in the event. So it's mostly, it's, it's mostly focusing on that event, but people, the people that aren't training, like I have a lot of reps that maybe don't always shred on the, with the groups. And so they're posting, you know, recipes and that kind of thing. And what, I, what I've taught my team to do is if they're going to post a recipe somewhere, post it in all the customer groups. So that everybody gets it. So your post is going to take you an extra 15 seconds to post it three times instead of once. Uh, yeah, which is great. And so that helps that like, they, you know, so it keeps, maybe you have people in the shred group who haven't shredded in a long time, but because they're seeing activity and they're like, oh yeah, I should probably shred again. So it's good to keep activity because same thing. If you have a group that's nothing's happening in, no one's paying attention and it's kind of a dead group. Um, so that, and that's also why I would recommend teaming up instead of, if you have, you know, if you only got 10 people in your shred group, that's not a lot of activity and it's not very exciting. So you want to, you know, I, I think probably, you know, 30 or 50 people should be the smallest kind of shred group that you have, you know, your main kind of group. And then if you're, if you're, you know, if your events are smaller, if you only got 10 or 15 people shredding, then that's fine. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's a, that's a great, that's a really great question. Um, so that's kind of how we do, how we run the, the shred groups. And then in, uh, in terms of, you know, in terms of like how I teach my team, it's like, I don't, I don't, my team doesn't have to go off and create their own groups. We have this main one that, that take, keeps a lot of the work down for my new reps. They don't, they don't like, they don't have to go then like figure out how to run groups and do the whole thing. They can kind of watch. The other thing that's cool about having reps, um, like help volunteer to run the, run some of the shred events is that it, it puts them in a leadership position right away, which is kind of cool. So they feel they're responsible for this group and they could put, it kind of sets them up to be a leader immediately. And that's been kind of, kind of awesome. Um, so yeah, we're coming on just over a year of this program kind of being in, in place and it's, it's just only getting <laughs> bigger and bigger. And, uh, it's, it's just been so cool to see the transformation in, in my team and my customer base. And, you know, just because, <clears throat> you know, it's, 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 it can be kind of difficult to explain the concept of juice plus to someone. It's, it's a concept you have to explain. You can't like show someone a handful of capsules and they get what it is and they like, Oh yeah, I want that. <laughs> so that, whereas like a program, people are really familiar with programs and they're like, yeah, I'm looking for something. I've tried a couple of things. I'm looking for something else. And this is something that they can, they really can wrap their, their brain around. And then juice plus is kind of the, the like support system for that. So it's not juice plus isn't the thing. The shred is the thing. And Juice Plus is part of that program. Um, and that's really what's made it, um, you know, really viable for, especially, I mean, every, all age groups like love programs. They all do. But especially for people in their 20s who don't have the thought about like, oh, I'm like trying to, you know, take this thing for prevention or I'm, I'm kind of battling this thing. For the most part, they're generally healthy. And they're like, well, I'll worry about <laughs> prevention later. <laughs> Whereas you can get them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I have one more question. So yeah. I know what kind of an athlete you are because I, I watch you jump like superwomen 57 feet into the air on a box sitting. It's insane. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have seen Jake do that, but she's sitting on one bench and she ends up on a bench in front of her that's I don't, five feet tall. I don't even know how tall it is. It's crazy. It's amazing <laughs> to watch. But um, what if you are a professional elite athlete so you're an iron man you're a whatever and you're in the middle of training when if you do the shred do you need to do extra meals how does that get approached how do you do the shred with elite athletes yeah that's a great question i actually got this asked it was on another team call last night they asked that same question so that's awesome um i i absolutely recommend that elite athletes at whatever stage of their training they're in that they take on a shred for sure um, unless, unless they're going to compete in the next three days, then I would, because the, the, the detox that you experience in the first few days 
it makes you kind of tired and sluggish. So I would probably say wait till after, but if they have a, if they have a competition that's a couple weeks or a couple months out, I would, I definitely recommend that they do. I actually have a guy who's um, been shredding with me since January and he's a, like an ultra marathoner, like crazy, like runs marathons, like several a month, like just as a maniac. And, um, and he was, he had that same question and I was like, no, you just, just trust me, just start it now. And, and he's, he, you know, has been kind of basically shredding since January through all of his competitions. And he, at one point was like, Oh, I have a race coming up. So I'm going to stop shredding. I need to carbo load. So I'm going to, I do, I'm like, are you kidding me? You're going to undo everything that you just learned and just fixed in your body <laughs> by having, by adding all that wheat and dairy back. Like, what are you doing? And, and so I had to like kind of twist his arm a little bit, but he, he ended up staying, you know, shred friendly and competing and has competing better than, than, you know, he has been in the past. And he's, again, he's also a training athlete. So there are some changes that need to be made though with the shred for people that are exercising at that level because you, so the, and the main one is, is the no eating after six piece of that. And that, that's why there's an asterisk next to that rule um, is that it needs to be adjusted for certain, certain people. So if you're an elite athlete and you're exercising, you know, more than three hours a day at your you know, kind of peak, um, you can't stop eating at six. You won't get in, be able to get enough calories in your body um, during the day. So I recommend that if you're going to eat after six, that it's shakes. So I like, so I do a lot of shakes after 6 PM cause I'm still exercising at a pretty high level. Um, so I do a lot of shakes after 6 PM. Um, I try not, I, I try to have them not do super heavy things late. Cause I notice as an athlete that the next day I'm really sluggish and my energy is way down and my performance is down when I've had a huge heavy meal later, late at night. Um, and then same thing if you're, if you know, you've got a pregnant woman or a nursing mom. Um, who's doing the shred, they, again, same thing, they can't stop eating at six, so they don't, won't have enough calories to sustain, you know, what they're, what they're themselves plus another human being. So, um, and then we also, like, when we have um, shift workers, people that work, like, night shifts and stuff, you gotta, gotta, like, work with them to adjust that as best they can do, you know, kind of stay within the rules and try and do shakes as much as they can when it's dark, um, and then have their bigger meals, maybe, like, as a lunch, as, like, their kind of morning meal at lunchtime. So, um, the, that's kind of the one thing that we adjust. Everything else pretty much stays the same. Um, I do recommend for elite athletes and, you know, again, pregnant nursing moms that you double up on your juice plus capsules. That's our, my recommendation is to, you know, if you're, when you're putting your body under that much more strain, that the more plants is better. Um, I've been, I've, I take double the capsules. I've been, um, I've been taking double since I started taking juice plus and my husband is a commercial pilot. Um, and he, so he's exposed to all the radiation and all that stuff. And so he takes triple dose um, while he's on the road. So as I always say as much juice plus as you can afford, <laughs> you should take it. Um, awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you so much, Jake. And thank you for pioneering this. I am really appreciative that you've gone before us and everything is so simple for us, right? Even I love that there are the texts of the one, two, three, you know, for the first day, the up, up to, I think, five days. It's, it's just great because it just, it just helped us so much. So really grateful for that. One thing I'd like you to talk about, because I know you are really big on this. Um, <laughs> since we're talking about momentum, I read a quote today, one way to keep momentum going is to constantly have greater goals. And so talk about that, but also activity and how your calendar comes into play. You're really big on, um, the, the message blitzing and thank you for that too because there's a lot of good scripts there for that too um but i would just love for you to talk for a minute about that yeah, totally i know i know lisa was raising her hand do you have, want to ask a quick question before i go on sure go for it no then i will share about that for sure you're muted sorry um can you before you conclude but stay with that thought can you talk about the transition off the shred and customer retention long term because you're starting people i assume a lot of people day one on all the products you know they're not necessarily existing customers which a lot of us are doing the so how do you deal with that to ensure that you have customer retention long term yeah so um so like i said most people who do the shred they continue shredding longer than 10 days um and then what I, what i encourage them to do is for the next so you've done your shred for the next 20 days you still continue with no wheat and no dairy and that obviously the juice plus products are part of what they're doing so um and then because they're still in the community and i'm in i'm still doing really good customer care with them i
And then when they're not shredding, I check in with them a couple, every, you know, once or twice a week to kind of see how they're doing. And then every time we have a, a new shred going, I invite them to do that. So twice a month, they're getting asked about doing new shreds. And they almost always, everyone's like, yep, I'm ready. So that, because we have this, the shreds happening every month, it keeps them engaged with like, oh yeah, cool, I can start another shred and then I can, you know, take a break and have some coffee or have some alcohol. So because it's like this, this always changing thing, it's never stagnant with them they're like staying engaged and staying in the community. So that's a really great question. Um, so even when they're done with the shred, the customer care has to stay not as, not as intense, but you know, once a week, twice a week that you're checking in with them to see how they're doing so that they stay on track, especially if they have them. Cause what I do is I put, I have people order enough products to do four months worth of capitals, obviously. And I have them do order enough shake to do four two two shakes a day for the four months. So if I'm not checking in with them, they're not going to use the products. And but when their four months are up, they're going to have a ton of shake left. And I don't want to have to, you know, deal with their resetting their order or whatever. So if you do good customer care, they'll continue to use their products like they're supposed to. And then when their four months are up, they'll be ready for their new products. So that's a, that's a great question. Um, so in terms of momentum and my DMO and kind of how, what my, what my business looks like and my daily kind of life looks like, um, I do, I'm really huge on 90 day game plans, huge on them because I, my brain doesn't work in like, you just work hard forever. <laughs> you just like bust, you know, work your ass off every day for the forever. <laughs> like I can't, I can't wrap my brain around it. So I, my team does 90 day game plans and we love it. So for 90 days, we, I put my team in boxer groups and I have two different ones. One is um, kind of like the lower level, like they're going to do the people maybe that work full time and they're going to do, you know, kind of this minimal amount of work that we set. And then the other group is people that maybe don't work full time or they do, but they're like, they want to um, uh, really go crazy with it. I have a question when that's any question. Um, okay, I'll, I'll answer that. Um, so, and then in, in these two boxer groups, we check in daily and everyone's talking about what their activity level is and what they're doing and, and celebrating wins. And so not only does it like, have people stay accountable, but it also gets the sideline and all the team to really get to know each other and everyone loves each other, even if they haven't met before. So that's a really great way to kind of bring, have some team chemistry happen. The, the lower group, their commit, their commitment is doing 10 reach outs a day and the, the upper for six days a week. And the upper group is, uh, 30 plus a day, six days a week. Um, and so some, some people are doing 50, some people are doing, you know, kind of whatever. And so we kind of talk about, I do, I do training in there once a week. So I'll put a little bit of training on something in there. So it's not just people checking in that's boring. I'll put like some tips and some training people put questions and, you know, kind of work together in there. Um, and then, and then I'm, I'm doing uh, a minimum number of reach outs a day as well, as well as kind of managing, managing team and all of that. But I like to do it in 90 day spurts. So we're about to finish ours and then conferences will happen. We'll take a small break and then we'll set up the next 90 day game plan. Um, you know, starting after conference and I'm, and in the lower group, I'm pretty lax with it. Like I'm saying, this is what, you know, you're committed to do. I, I recommend that you check in regularly. You know, it's kind of on you, the upper group. Uh, I'm very strict with it. Um, the requirement is that you check in twice a day in the morning and night to say what you're going to do and say that you did. And then if, if you miss two days of checking in, you get kicked out. So then there is no way to get back in. <laughs> so I'm very, and, and what I find with that, just like with the shred, like when you tell people how it's going to be, they do it. When you tell people, yeah, do whatever you want. They're not going to do it. It's like the difference between transfer 30 and the shred. So shred is way more strict, but I have way better compliance because I'm like, this is just how it is. Um, and then in, in, uh, the question was what kind of system do I use to manage my customers? Um, I, I it's not very sophisticated. I have, I have a, I have a notebook <laughs> and <laughs> it's not sophisticated at all. And, um, also because when I have people that are shredding, customers that are shredding, I'm talking to them all the time. So I kind of know who all the active shredders are. Um, and I, I do sometimes have to go back into my customer page and go, Oh crap, I totally forgot about this person. Like it, it's just, that's just how it goes sometimes. So you do your best and whatever tracking system works for you. Um, awesome. I like paper, even though I'm a millennial, I still like to do it on good old paper. <laughs> so I think that was the only question. I think we're out, pretty much out of time. I wish I could stay in here and talk, um, on uh, talk forever. Uh, I got questions coming through. Um, <laughs> recruitment rate way, way up, right? Way up, just way up because, because again, because people get a program, they get it. They're like, yeah, I love it. I want to, I want to share this with people. And it's just, it's an easier thing to explain than, than fruits and vegetables in a capsule on their own. And it's just totally revolutionized my business. And then, okay, then I will answer this. Um, uh, people get, 
uh, okay, the concern about doing four months of shakes, four months of capsules. Um, I, I do. I, so, so it's kind of like if you walked into like a Mercedes dealership, the car that they have on the, um, in the, in the showroom is like the thing with all the bells and whistles. It's got all the stuff. And then you say, they're like, this is like, this is like everything we offer. And then, and then they say, okay, this is going to work for me. This isn't going to work for me. This is this, this sounds good. This I can't afford. And you kind of like walk, break, you know, walk, walk them down. So I lead with four months of everything. Cause that's, that's what I would do. Why would I have someone do not what I do? That's what I do. Like I take two chicks today and capsules every single day. So why would I have someone not do what I do? And if they can't, that's totally fine. Then I say, cool. What about, you know, let's do it. Let's do, you know, capsules in two orders of shake. And that's, that's a really common order that I get. That's one, probably one of the most, the most orders that I get is that way. And then I'll do capsules in one order of shake if they, if they can't. And so when you go from, you know, it's $195 a month down to a hundred bucks a month, like that's for a lot of people, that's like, Oh, that sounds great. Whereas if you lead with, one one order of capsules one order of shake you don't really have anywhere to go after that um once in a while very rarely do i put someone just on shake um but that's that's really rare with the it's with the intention that they will add the capsules and they most of the time do with the education that they get through the shred program oh the last thing i want to say is that um what's really awesome about the new the new shred system is that we have videos from doctors on each on each of the shred guidelines so like I have a doctor's talking about why no caffeine or a doctor talking about why not eating after six. And so it's like, you don't have to know all this stuff about why this is, and you can just send them a quick video and it is awesome. <laughs> I love that. And it helps make it all duplicatable because yeah. everyone else can do that too. They don't have to become extras. We don't have to become Mitra Ray or Jake Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend I Jake Kelly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We appreciate you giving up your time. And can we put this on gallery view now for a minute? And yes. oh, here everyone is. Are. And, uh, and just take yourself off mute and tell Jake, thank you so much. Thanks, thank Jake. You, Jake. It was so fun. You awesome. Yeah, we love you. We can't wait to see you, Jake. Jake. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, awesome. everyone. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.